Hi, this is David Armstrong with another edition of our musical theater vlog, and I'm here with our producing director, Bill Barry. And hello. We're here, hello. We're here to tell you about some uh, fun things that are happening around town. Uh, first of all, there is a production of the musical Spring Awakening that Bill and I went to see the other night, and it features a lot of people who are uh, associated with the Fifth Avenue Theater, and it's really, really excellent. Yeah, the show's been directed by Eric Ankrum, who is uh, going to be starring in our production of Oklahoma. And uh, he's turning out to be not only a fantastic actor here in Seattle and singer and performer, but also a really accomplished director. He did a really great job. He really did an amazing job with yeah. this exciting young cast. And uh, not only is Eric going to be playing Curly in Oklahoma, he's also going to be playing the lead in First Date. And until just very recently, he was here on the staff of the Fifth Avenue Theater, working in our casting office and doing a no number of things. But then he got so hot as a as an actor and director that... Uh, uh, he went off to, to pursue that for a while, but I'm sure he'll be working with us in, in many capacities over the years. And, and Spring Awakening is being produced by the Balligan Theater. Um, they're performing in the Erickson Theater on Capitol Hill, and they have performances, I believe, through this weekend. And, and then it seems like they've extended it now. It's been so popular, they've extended it, into, um, and they're going to reopen it again in April. It's going to so, close for a couple of weeks, I think, and then yeah. come back. Yeah. Uh, obviously because, and I know that... Uh, Misha Burson in the today's Seattle Times gave it a rave review. And it's very deserved. The cast is very exciting. There's several other people in the show who, sure. who will be, be, be on the Fifth Avenue stage right. in a few... Um, uh, Diana a Huey, amount. who's playing uh, the female lead in the show, um, Bendla, I believe is her name. Is that right? I think that's something yeah. like that. Um, is going to be in Rent for us later in the season. Oh, I'm giving away casting casting <laughs> news. You're here, you, you, you heard it here first. Exactly. If you're checking in the vlogs, you might be hearing some scoop that nobody yeah. else has got. That's right. And uh, Kirsten Helen. Kirsten Helen, um, who's Ado Annie right now in Oklahoma, but she'll also be appearing in Rent later in the season. Um, and a lot of other really exciting young performers who um, really, I think, are making some of their first you know debuts here in Seattle. Um, there's a gentleman by the name of Brian Earp who's playing uh, the lead in, in Spring Awakening, and he was one of the first winners of uh, the Fifth Avenue Awards. I think oh, we don't say he winner, was, he's a recipient. I believe he was the very first recipient of the, of the uh, outstanding performance by a male actor in a musical at the very first Fifth Avenue Awards. Yeah, Do I have that right? And, and he Is it number and two? He, he received, no, he received it twice. Oh, we did it twice, years both the row. first two years, Brian yeah. got it. He's gone off to college and now come back to Seattle and is going to uh, really is uh, demonstrating that that potential that we saw back then is absolutely there. He's an amazing talent. So if you, if you get a chance, go check out Spring Awakening. Um, just a little warning, Spring Awakening does contain adult language themes and some nudity, so it may not be appropriate for family, all family audiences. But your adults make up your own mind. <laughs> all right. And the other thing we wanted to tell you about is uh, the one of our... Uh, Favorite restaurants we go to all the time is called The Five Spot. It's up on the top of, uh, of Queen Anne Hill. A lot of very, very hard-hitting and exciting artistic plans have been made <laughs> in the booths at uh, The That's Five Spot. Right, right. That's right, With Albert, Albert Evans, our, our resident musical yes. dramaturg. Yes, often the three of us are sitting there cooking up plans for Spotlight Night or any of the events that we, we work on here. So we had Spotlight Night the other night and it happened to be Albert's birthday that day. And afterwards, we took Albert out for dinner, and he wanted to go to the Five Spot, and we and went as you, up. As you may know about the Five Spot, is the menu changes uh, frequently. Uh, every few months, they change the menu, and it's, uh, and it's based on a new location. So the, the food will all be based on Memphis or San Francisco, San Francisco or, or Can Canary Row or places. You know, it's very, very specific. So little did we know, but the menu right now is Broadway. Exactly. For all those famous Broadway foods you think of, you know, like Damn Yankees Pot Roast. Which Albert had for his birthday. And he, we also had the... Uh, Hello we, Dolly Pie. The Hello Dolly Pie for dessert. So I highly recommend Hello Dolly Pie. For musical theater lovers, you should definitely go check it out. On Wednesday evenings, they give you the chance to sing for your supper unaccompanied, but if you're brave enough to stand up and sing a song, you might get your entire meal for free. So if you're looking for something fun, Broadway-themed, go to the uh, five spot on the top of Queen Anne. Thanks so much for joining us again for another uh, vlog here, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks. Thanks.